Shinbo Akiyuki is one of the most interesting directors in the anime industry. He is a veteran director with a career spanning over three decades. His early directorial works, such as Metal Fighter Miku, Sore Yuke Uchu Senkan Yamamoto Yoko, and Tenamonia Voyagers, show no discerning characteristics that remind us of Shinbo's style, as we are aware. However, his style became noticeable with his work Tsukuyomi, Moon Phase, in 2004. Since then, he has produced some of the most popular and distinctive anime series of all time, which include the Monogatari series, Mao Shoujo Madoka Magika, and Nisekoi. In this video, I would like to examine Shinbo Akiyuki's style through his TV series. Through these works, we can learn about his unique style and observe how his characteristics are reflected in his works. The first characteristic is the use of real-life and stylized images. Although many directors, such as Anno Hideaki and Oshii Mamoru, have done similar things in their works, Shinbo differs from them in many aspects. Compared to other directors, he uses real-life images much more extensively in his works. Also, by doing so, he creates different atmospheres that fit each of his works. For example, in episode 2 of Bakemono Atari, where Senjo Gaara talks about the story with her parents, Shinbo uses real-life images to evoke a grotesque and unsettling feeling. This fits perfectly with Bakemono Atari since it is about mysterious events involving gods and curses. In Mao Shoujo Madoka Magika, Shinbo uses stylized images in the scenes where Madoka and her friends fight against witches. In doing so, it creates a grotesque atmosphere that is quite different from other ordinary Mao Shoujo anime. In episode 2 of Sayonara Jechibo Sensei, where Kiri tries to divide the cake equally for her guests, Shinbo uses real-life images to create a sense of comedy. As Sayonara Jechibo Sensei is about comedic events happening at school, the use of real-life images is quite ingenious and fresh. Lastly, in Hidamari sketch, Shinbo uses real-life images to evoke a sense of curiosity. The second characteristic is unique camera work. Shinbo utilizes extreme close-up shots and extreme wide shots in his works for different purposes. For instance, in episode 3 of Bakemono Atari, Shinbo uses an extreme wide shot to establish the background where the main story takes place. Also, it can be viewed as a way to progress the story by introducing the place where Araragi lives. In episode 5 of Bakemono Atari, extreme close-up shots are used to depict tension as Araragi learns the true nature of Hachikuji, a young elementary school girl who has become a spirit after she died. In episode 2 of Nisekoi, Shinbo uses extreme close-up shots to express a sense of confusion as Ichijo tries to hide his relationship with Chitotoge from Onodera. Furthermore, Shinbo extensively uses an unusual camera angle called Shaft Angle, which has become characteristic of Shinbo and the animation company Shaft, where most of Shinbo's renowned works were created. Finally, Shinbo utilizes low angle shots in many of his works. In doing so, he creates a feeling of inferiority and a menacing atmosphere that characterizes his camera work style. The third characteristic is minimalism and the use of ladders as a filming technique. In Shinbo's works, buildings and objects are depicted without much detail, as if they were minimalistic art objects in museums. By taking a minimalistic approach to background objects, Shinbo creates a clean and organized atmosphere that is quite different from what we usually see in other anime. Also, Shinbo widely uses primary colors in his works. Most of the time, Shinbo chooses red, yellow, and blue for background objects, and even when he uses other colors, he does so without many embellishments. As a result, he transformed the scene into an art gallery, which I find quite intriguing. Another interesting aspect of Shinbo's style is the use of letters as an artistic expression. In many of his works, letters appear as part of the scene and augment the creative design. In Bakemono Gatari, for, for instance, Shinbo utilizes letters for various effects such as explaining the situation, progressing the story, and emphasizing certain moments. In Sangatsu no Lion, 
Shinbo uses letters to express a comedic and pleasant feeling. The fourth characteristic is the emphasis on comedy and the use of parodies. Shinbo widely uses comedy in his works, but most of it is a black comedy that relies on cynical and satirical depictions of actual or fictional events. This characteristic is most evident in Sayonara Jetsubo Sensei, where Shinbo constantly uses black comedy to make fun of certain situations and provide satirical criticisms of real-life events. Other works, such as the Monogatari series and Araka Under the Bridge, utilize black comedy that pokes fun at distressed characters and provides sarcastic explanations for specific events in the story. Another element of Shinbo's style is the use of parodies. Shinbo extensively uses parodies in most of his works. The Monogatari series and Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei are the most prominent examples where Shinbo utilizes various parodies of popular manga and anime series for comical effects. Although the use of parodies may weaken the overall integrity of the work if done improperly, Shinbo successfully incorporates them into his works while maintaining the quality. This is where his talents really shine, which is one of the reasons why I consider him a great director. Shinbo Akiyuki has produced some of the most well-known and intriguing anime series of all time. He and the animation company Shaft have produced many great works that I have greatly enjoyed over the years. His influence is and will be felt across the anime industry, and I hope more directors will take such creative approaches when making anime. Thank you for watching.